G'day. Have we got a shoot for you today? Rain is the location photographer's worst nightmare. You get everything set up, your client in place, the rain comes, you've got to pack up, go home and come back another day. But it is possible to produce great shots in the rain. All you need is a little bit of planning, a couple of speed light flashes and a couple of coloured gels and you can produce magical images. I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to do that because we've got a shoot here with Layla in the rain and we produce some great photographs. Now sometimes the rain doesn't cooperate so we're going to show you a technique to use in that situation and spoiler alert we cheated a little bit. I don't want to spend too much time talking so sit down have a look at this video of Layla We've done a few different lighting techniques, we've done a lot of clothing changes, you'll see the results that we get. The best images are towards the end, as usually happens, but there are great techniques and vision all the way through, and some great images as well. So sit back, have a look at this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy it, and I'm sure you'll learn a lot about rain portraits. Colors that bring you back to life Dreaming inside a disco night All my worries are gone so we're here at Spears Point Park. Originally, about three weeks ago, I planned this to be a sunset shoot. So we're gonna have beautiful colors in the sky and we're gonna have lovely flash shots of our model against that really nice sky. Then the Weather Bureau decided that there was going to be a catastrophic rain event this afternoon. So my plans changed. As of this morning, I was planning a rain shoot. I thought this is a great opportunity. If I can find a model who's keen to stand out in the rain, I can do a great rain shoot. Of course, we get here ready to go. There's not a raindrop in sight. So photography is all about problem solving. We're going to get some great shots here today with this overcast sky. We're going to get some great rain shots because I thought before I left home that I could bring some artificial rain. So I've bought a hose with a fitting on the end that we can create our own rain. So we're going to use that, put Layla under the rain and shoot some rain shots. So we've chosen this location here because we've got a great big shelter. As you can see, this shelter is, is going to protect us from the rain, hopefully, if the wind's not too strong. Um, and we're gonna be able to shoot Layla slightly underneath the cover of this shelter and have the rain in the background. So it's an ideal situation. We've got four sides open, so we can choose whichever way works best for us. Um, the wind's blowing in my face at the moment, which is ideal because we want that that wind to be blowing Layla's hair back if we can in the shot. So we'll just do some shots, you'll see what we're doing. I'll explain it all as we go and we'll get some fantastic images. I was doing a shot of Callum. Give him some instructions, Leila. <laughs> so what we're aiming to do here today is to expose Layla correctly with the light that's on the front of her. We're using a speed light to light her and then we want our background to go dark. So I've reduced my aperture down so my background's gonna be dark because when we get some rain or when we produce some rain, we're gonna be able to show that rain against that dark background. So I'm gonna take a shot of Layla now and you'll see the sort of thing that I'm talking about. Okay, lovely Layla, just there. Okay, here we go. Terrific. Okay, so you can see in that shot that Layla's well exposed, but the background's fairly dark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a light in behind Layla, a flash in behind Layla to brighten up the background and then we're going to put some rain in there. Okay, here we go. Lovely, ready? Okay, terrific. Now you can see that light behind Layla, her hair's lit up from that flash in behind her. What we're going to do when we start getting those raindrops coming down is that light's going to highlight those raindrops as well, okay? So Layla, we're going to move you further forward so you're out of the rain. We're going to get Callan to grab our, our artificial rain contraption. Gone, on on. 
Okay, so Callan, just try that and see how it's going to go. It's not hitting you. Maybe get a bit closer so that it's coming this way as well. Yeah? Try it. All right, we'll see how we go. Just if, if you're getting wet, just move forward. Yeah, Callan? Here we go. Okay, great. That's good. Excellent. Maybe aim it up a bit higher so it's going to come down a little bit more. Okay, Lela, yeah. Terrific. Can we turn you this way? But I want you to turn your face to look at the light because this is where the light's coming from. Yeah. Okay, Callan, when you're ready. Yeah. Terrific. Maybe something with your hands, maybe hang on to your chair shirt or something. Yeah, that's it. Great. Here we go, yeah. And smiley one. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, cool. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh, they're yeah. going to get sicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Just, just let the jacket blow back if you can. Yeah. Okay, Callan again. Yeah. Good. Maybe hold your hands out so that the jacket blows. Yeah. Right. That's it. Good. Yeah, smiley. Yep. So rainy or overcast days are fantastic because the light is really soft. The light is spread out over that huge sky, so it's really nice flattering light to use for portraits. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do a shot of Layla just leaning against the pole here, using this big soft light coming in on her face. Okay, that's great, except my flash is on in the background. Maybe just tilt your head in a little bit to the pole here. Yeah? Great. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Just drop this hand down on your thigh here. Good. Okay, can you pull the jacket up for me? Serious for me? Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you got too serious? Oh, you got to fly. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Hey. Just turn your face this way. Yep. Pull some hair forward over the shoulder. Yeah. That's it. Great. Okay, fantastic. So you can see the position that we're working in here. We've got Layla under the shelter here, but we can shoot directly out into the landscape. So it doesn't look like she's under the shelter. We're using the flash to light the front of her, which is important because otherwise she would be really dark. So we know that even if that rain does come down, we're going to be able to keep her dry for the time being. We're going to get her wet later on, but don't tell her that. So we're going to keep her dry for the time being, and we can do a, a range of different shots. Her hair's going to look good. My hair's going to look good. Everybody's hair is going to look good. So we need to try and keep your face towards that flash because it's only a very small flash. So if your nose is pointing straight at it, that's going to be ideal. Okay, um, I'm not sure if that back one's on. Is that on? It is. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Yeah, terrific. Maybe hands in your pockets. You got some? All right. Yep. All right, here we go, yeah. Terrific. I'm just going to do one from down low, so I just want you to look straight past the flash there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, terrific, one more. So you can see that background is really dark, even though it's not dark yet. It's still quite light out. But because my aperture is small and my shutter speed is reasonable, I'm controlling the tone of that background. I'm darkening it down so it looks like nighttime. This is the advantage of being able to use flash. 
You can control your background to any tone that you want by just varying your flash power. Yeah, that's great. We'll do a longer one. Yep, a couple of smiley ones, that's good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, terrific. And last one. So these are some of the shots that we've gotten so far with that red gel. Showing it up in the background, the red light behind Layla, lighting up that water. This is just with the plain colored water. We miss every now and again because the, I shoot before the batteries have charged the flash. But they're looking really good. So far, we're gonna get better ones. So we're going to change it a little bit here. We've been using the speed light to light Layla, which is a small light source. It's not the most flattering light source in the world. But now we're going to soften that light by holding a scrim, which is the center of my 5-in-1 reflector, in front of that speed light to soften the light. I'm going to hold it up here between the flash and Layla, and that's going to soften that light down because it's going to increase the size of the light source. Now this is a bit of a problem for me because I haven't got enough people here to be able to fire my camera as well as hold the reflector and produce the rain that Callan's just so good at. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fire my, my camera remotely with these little um, remote sensors. It's a flash trigger, but it also works as a camera remote. So you'll see how we do this and the light on Layla is going to be much softer and more flattering. Okay, here we go guys. Still looking over this way, Layla, because this is where the, the light's going to be. So we position that here. Here we go. Ready? Lovely. Okay, just turn your eyes to the camera. Yep. Terrific. As I move this reflector closer to Layla, it softens the light down even more because it's larger in relation to her. Okay, you can see the results that we get from that. It looks nicer, softer light on Layla. It's a little bit more complicated, but we could use a softbox to do the same sort of thing. Forget all your, forget all your troubles. So you can see we've got a blue gel on that back light now, on that back um, speed light, just throwing the blue gel towards Layla. So we're going to do a couple more shots like that, a couple more poses, a bit more close in, and you'll see what we can get with that. Okay, terrific. Turn your face up towards the light. Not working you too hard, are we, Carl? No, that's right. All right, good stuff. Okay, yep, good stuff. Just look at the reflector for me. Yep. Terrific. Maybe just move around, change your pose a little bit. That's it, yep. Yeah, that'll be cool. You okay to stand out there? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Okay, just across that way a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Just change your pose around a little bit each time, yeah. A couple of smiley ones. 
Yeah, that's it. Good stuff. Maybe turn your body around to the side a little bit more. Yep, that's it. Good. Can you feel it? Can you feel the thunder? Can you feel the love? Just run through a few poses, cross your feet over, maybe feet apart, that sort of thing. Just personality things and stuff, okay? Which you're not really good at, but still. Well, that's, that was a joke. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. That's it. Great. Maybe swirl the skirt around a little bit. Yeah. Swirl the skirt a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Good. Yeah. Great. Yep. Okay, turn your body to face that way. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Colors that bring you back to life. Dreaming inside at this go night. All my worries are gone. So now we're going to take away that front light and we're going to use Layla as a silhouette against that backlight. So we're just going to have her shape and as a silhouette against the backlight coming through the rain. All right, I don't need that there, I can do it myself. Here we go. Lovely, drag one foot back for me. Yeah. Terrific. Yep, do the. Hand out here, yep. Need to get your face further around. Yeah, that's it, the smile. As you may be able to hear, the rain has arrived. It's pelting down out there, so we don't need our artificial rain anymore. 
So the shots we're getting are amazing. Exactly the way that I was hoping that we would get. We've got a bit of lightning around too. So maybe if we're lucky, we might get one of us hit by lightning. We'll be able to get a shot. That'll be a spectacular shot. So we're gonna do a few more and you can see how we go. Here we go. Ah, beautiful. So I want those really sultry looks if you can now. Yep. Great. Okay. Okay. Turn your face towards the light. Yep. Okay, so what I want you to do is to lean back just on your hands yeah. against the pole here yeah. um, and look over that way because that's where I'm going to be, okay? Um, and I'm going to light paint you with the torch, okay? So just hold nice and still. Okay, that's it. Here we go, nice and still, Layla. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everybody. That's a wrap. <sighs> I always wanted to say that. Thank you very much for that. Hopefully, we got some awesome shots. You always have fun. I, I get the feeling that you have fun every day of your life. You know, it's good to have fun when you're young. It's when you're old, like Robbie and I, it's just too late.